Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where we're going to do the rounds after a major mission like we do and see how everyone's feeling after the loss of a crewmate and figuring out exactly what freaking Saren's up to. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry ma'am, I just don't know if I could have done it. And there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. It is hard, man. I can't, I can't imagine, honestly, making a decision like that. I think I would just combust. But... We're still here, we're still fighting the good fight. And I gotta go talk to Cap. I don't know if you could look, like, in this situation. I don't know if, like, two people like Shepard and Caden with that thing that just happened and everything between us. I don't know if you could ever, if I could look that person in the eye again, really. You know? Despite, you know, it's like, oh, I saved you to, like, you know, because I love you or whatever, but, like... As, like, Caden, as the person in Caden's shoes, you know, I'd feel, like, really responsible and guilty, and as Shepard, I'd do the same thing. So, I don't know. I think in the end, you just stop talking to each other. Despite, you know, having sacrificed somebody to save the person you love. You know, like, I don't know, I'm not saying it very well. We're so close now. When we deliver everything, the Council will have to mobilize around us. It would be a fitting tribute to Ash if we were able to rally everyone together under the Council. Only up. It's been a struggle, but we've earned their respect now. And you've been at the forefront even back in the Blitz. You'll probably get another Star of Terra out of this. I don't think I've ever met a woman like you. <laughs> you haven't had the easiest life, but I like the man that's made of you. Please, Commander, you'll make me blush. <laughs> no bull, Shepard. I want to follow through with this. It's tough keeping it separated from duty. But when the mission's complete, it'll be different. At least I hope so. I like that he keeps checking. Like, I don't know, some people might be like, all right, I've already made it clear. Well, you know, but it's like, this is a very sensitive situation, honestly. Like, there is, like, a little bit of a power discrepancy, you know? And, like, he's constantly trying to walk this line of, like, you know, military decorum versus, like, personal attachment, you know? Like, so he's just, and he's never, like, he's never, like, assuming, like, constantly, like, that you're, like... I don't know that you're like a hundred percent like he wants to make sure that like the ball is in your court and like you know obviously he has to make his own choices too but like he's never like just like i don't know overwhelming you with like you know being like i don't know he he's kind of walking this line and like making sure that you know he's walking it and that when the time comes like he'll be able to walk over it with your invitation you know he's not just gonna like keep assuming i don't know I don't know if I'm saying it very well again either, but I just freaking love and that's like Shepard the Lion Shepherd says she's like you haven't had an easy life, but I like the man has made you and I'm like that's exactly what it is. <laughs> that sounds wonderful, Lieutenant. In the meantime, we save the galaxy. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Shepard's like vacation later, save galaxy now. Alright. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing. Ma'am, sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? Mm. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. I mean, it's, it's really cliche. I don't know if it would actually work, you know, because there's the middle option. It works too, right? Like, I grieved later, you know, but that one also seems a bit didactic. Where it's like, I grieved later, but we can't do that now. We have to wait, you know? Like, And Caden's like, I, you know, I've 
been he's been in the military for like probably half his life at this point. I mean, he is asking for advice on how to deal with this because that's crazy to me that he's never lost a soldier under his command because he's because Ashley was technically under Caden's command, like in the hierarchy, you know. So, I mean, I guess it's been pretty peaceful except for raiders and stuff, but that's crazy to me. I feel like that was maybe a bit of an like a like, unreal, honestly, but um. Maybe not somebody so close anyway, you know, so, like to him. But, yeah, I mean, the best you can do is say, hey, it's never going to happen again, and then try to work so that it doesn't happen again, and if it does, it's like, okay, now I'll learn from this and keep, and you, you can only keep moving and keep learning, you know, if you wallow, you'll never go anywhere. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough oh, okay. of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. <gasps> I think we're gonna need a bigger boot. <laughs> Shepard's like, good old, you know, college try, and Caden's like, listen, <laughs> I appreciate what you're trying to do, but <laughs> your metaphor doesn't really work. Alright. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. I'd like that. Let's go talk with Liara. Anyway, I love Caden. In Mass Effect 1. I will admit that uh, come Mass Effect 2... And especially Mass Effect 3, I kind of want to kick him in the teeth. Like, a lot. Especially in Mass Effect 3. He get he changes a lot, and not for the better. But it is, like, I think Ashley does get better, from what I can tell. Um, she actually improves as a person. And her scene that you see her in, in Mass Effect 2 versus Caden in the same one, um, I actually like a lot better. It's got a slightly different vibe to it than Caden's does. And it's really interesting. Honestly, I would I would highly recommend watching a comparison video if you haven't, which probably a lot of you have seen it. But, um, but yeah, in Mass Effect Three, anyway, I won't get into it now. But he gets so so childish. But I love him in Mass Effect One. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. We've already... I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands, Dr. Chakwas. I've been thinking oh, okay. about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? She truly is an anthropologist. Uh, an anthropologically trained archaeologist. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Mm, true. Bye. I go. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> no, I mean, she brings up a good point. And realistically, you could be like, you know, I do feel bad for him. And like, yeah, a part of Shepard probably does. But also, the, lo the loss of Ashley is still really fresh. And like, just seeing all these like atrocities... That have happened under Sovereign and Saren's name. It's just like, you know, I can feel bad for you, but I can also recognize that at this point it's too late for you. And I just, you need to go. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. 
Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. We will. We will, actually. Also, I think Kirihi is honestly my favorite design for a Solarian. Like, his, his little, like, head speckles are in, like, a really high detail now, too. It's really cool. I like it a lot. But I think Kirihi's my favorite. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. He can at least know that it is possible that to, to secure the genophage, apparently, you know? Um, so, yeah. Like, he has that at least, even if we had to destroy the cure. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? No. Now that I have my family's armor again, there's nothing left for me. So long, Rex. He Shepherd. does actually have a brother, I think, but that might be a wreck. Oh, I was gonna come over here. I was like coming over here by habit. I'm actually gonna tear up a little bit. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I was like, I literally was like, oh, we just lost Ash. But then I was gonna, uh, I started walking over here. And then I was like, what? Well, like, I had a second of, where is she? Oh, my gosh. It gets hard. For some reason, Ashley's death or whoever, Caden. Caden or Ashley. Mostly Ashley, in my case, gets harder every time. Someday I'll have to do a Paragon run where I save her. Commander, I, what can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Sarah. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. I mean, we did find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? Oh, yeah. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Sarah? Not until you said I it. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well... Maybe we shouldn't give them the chance. Oh. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Vigilante. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. I mean, that is how it works in a video game generally. Um, but in the real world, we can't just do that. Because also, like, you miss the opportunity for interrogation and figuring things out. Although, to be fair, somebody like Saren could just lie through his teeth the whole time. And he could end up getting off on, like, a technicality. You're like, oh, he was cooperative, you know? And it's like, that's not, that's not justice, you know? But. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince it's the not, council to listen to it's him. It's not about him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. Like, do you really want to be the person that, like, you know, like, that, like, we are military, we aren't a judiciary. You know what I mean? Like, in the real world, right? Like, cops are not, like, they aren't judges. You know, even if they, a lot of times they might think they are. You know? Like, you're not a judge, jury, executioner. You're a cop. You're supposed to preserve and protect or not preserve and protect but like you know serve and protect and like that doesn't involve like just killing people whenever you freaking feel like it or whatever you know or like whenever you think it's for the best like that's not your decision it's not it's not Caden or not Caden uh, Garrus or my decision to kill what's his name Saren unless Saren absolutely forces our hands you know like points a gun at our heads <laughs> you know but yeah, I don't know. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? 
Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. He's funny. It's funny that he calls me ma'am. He's not military, but he calls me ma'am like he is. Looking for supplies? Eh. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Ooh, is it time? Can I? It's worse. Well, not worse per se. The heat seat capacity isn't great. I actually really like the avalanche right now. the The spread isn't very big, um, but I like the impact it has. So I'm just I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, I think if I was Shepard and I needed like a minute, I would come down here to the heart of my ship. It's different in Mass Effect 2 and 3. It actually kind of is in like the heart of the ship. It feels like it's a, it's a little more vertical than this. Um, but yeah, I don't know if this place is very relaxing to me. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. Okay, good. Because truly, I always say I that it's go. true because, like, the initial way that I played with the way the achievements were, uh, I always brought Tally out. At least on my first run, I would always bring Tally out and Rex. So, like, she was a super integral part to, um, like, Saren's defeat, you know? Like, eventual defeat. Uh, but now I'm just willy nilly taking people out, and I lost the chance to get Ashley's achievement. <laughs> But that's okay. I'm not. Since the achievements are kind of bull now, anyway, in my opinion, like they they've nerfed them hardcore. Like uh, I, I don't really care. <laughs> like originally, I would only have two of the achievements for taking people out. Anyway, you know what I mean. So the fact that I'm only missing one out of six. I forwarded is... the mission update to the Citadel commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Psych. As we, as many of us know, it's a trap. Also, we are, I don't think we're locked in yet. I still have time to do the Geth excursion this after I escape <laughs> good job Shepard thanks to you the council's finally taking real action against Saren the ambassador is correct if Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel as you believe we will be ready for okay him. to be fair it's Patrols not a total are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the terminus systems yeah it's so they are taking some action but it's like they're not actually going to Ilos you think a blockade's gonna stop him He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mew Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. No. Exposed, he is no That's longer a threat. His, this his is greatest over. weapon is a sentient machine ship that wants to destroy humanity. And or... His Geth army! <laughs> like... What? His greatest weapon was secrecy. Shut up, Udina! Ina Udina is just... He's brown-nosing hardcore right now. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Verma. That wasn't my plan! I wouldn't call that discreet. It wasn't my plan! Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. 
But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. No, you don't! Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan the to attack the The conduit is the key to the attack on the Citadel, you morons! Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus system okay, because here's, of the dream. Okay, here's the thing. It's, somebody may have mentioned this in the comments before, like, either recently or a long time ago, but, like, why doesn't she mind meld with me? She's in a sorry. She could mind meld with me and see what I see in my head. Plot hole! Plot hole! If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You don't get to- You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. I really want to just be- I'm gonna do it. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. No, you are not necessary to this at all. Like, literally the Council could do it themselves. Also, that was slightly too aggressive for my shepherd. I get it. But I'm angry. Every time he throws me under the bus, I get angry. Commander, are you all right? Do I look all right? I'm sure there's a way to appeal. We're under Alliance authority, after all, not the Council. Official channels are closed. They were quite clear about that. Closed. And we're supposed to accept that. So where do you think the best view will be when the Reapers roll through? If we have to sit it out, may as well get a good seat. We're out of the game for now. I need you to be there while I figure things out. You know you can count on me, or any other crew, Commander. Come on, Caden. I can get a salute from anyone on this ship. Sometimes I need a shoulder. Yeah, I always leave a way out. You know that. I'm here for you, but we're in a rough spot, and the last thing I want to do is muddy things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's all that clear to start with. Are we the pride of the fleet or not? Are we valued agents or just peons? You can't just pull out a good old-fashioned, it'll be all right, can you? <laughs> it's that easy, huh? Okay, then. Everything will be fine, Shepard. You'll figure it out. <laughs> See, oh, I know he's just saying that, but like, you know. That wasn't so hard, now was it? I could get used to it. I guess we have some downtime to figure out what we are. Huh? Oh. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Commander. <laughs> Got a message from Captain Anderson. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so steamy, and then it's like, ooh. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Well, I guess you better go then. Duty calls. Oh, duty calls. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, were we really gonna equalizing <laughs> interior like... pressure with exterior atmosphere? Oh. Love. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Like, were we really just gonna like make out and stuff? It's like, whoa, we can't do anything, so we might as well get to know each other better. You like. <laughs> Like, I don't know. It's like, oh, we, like, but, but first Shepard's like, you know, tell me it'll be okay and I'll figure it out, which is Coming sweet, up in right? Coming like, later today, Emily Wong like, uh, it's true, right? Like, she can get a salute from anyone on her ship, but sometimes she needs, syndicate. like, you know, someone to really talk to, you know, and, and that's him, so. And that was really spicy and really steamy, and I'm just, like, flustered. It's fine. But then it's also, like, uh... 
I don't know. It's like, were we really gonna like it? Was she? She wasn't really giving up, but she was just like, oh, I mean, I can't think of anything else besides making out with you to do <laughs> right now. And to be fair, like all her options were closed. Like there really was. She, she has no. She has nothing she can do on her own. Hence, why we are going to see Anderson because all of us. Well, it's it's the reason Anderson summoned us. Who are you again? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Uh, it's Commander, actually. What do you want? Oh, I love it. Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. No, he's... He doesn't even know what... Like, what my title was. Like, he's not in the Alliance. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Bye. Getting you your drug fix is not high on my list of priorities, Keeler. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. Okay, good. Have fun. My dad wants to talk to me. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. I don't... It's... It's sort of interesting to me why Anderson, like, believes me, like, 100%. Like, I don't know. I feel like very few people do that. Not, I don't even know if, like, I don't know. My crew has kind of seen some things, you know, but Anderson hasn't seen anything. And he 100% believes me. And it's kind of gratifying, honestly, where he's just like, like, he knows you, right? He knows you wouldn't be making this stuff up, but like, you've thought about it, you know, you've seen the evidence for yourself, and it scares him too. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Also, technically, my gear is locked up. I shouldn't be wearing this under the Citadel because all my armor and weapons are supposed to be locked away. That's why when she went over to the kiosky thing on the ship when she sat down, she was pulling at it because that's... We've never done it before because we're on the ship. If you want to go mess with your gear out, like loadout, you do it there. Um, but it's all locked. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happens. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you gonna get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's gotta be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's an ambassador. He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. It's, it's, for one thing, the Citadel Control, like, he doesn't need to involve other people, right? Udina is the one who's part of this. Like, these Citadel soldiers, or, like, patrols, aren't really a part of it. You know, I don't want them hurting Anderson, and I don't want Anderson hurting them. Um... Breaking into Udina's office, because Udina is the one who threw me under the bus, is very satisfying. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's And it's only one guy who's not I was hoping you'd say that. The ambassador has made this person. Oh, 100%.
You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Like, Anderson is more than a, a, a squad of soldiers might be difficult to take. Anderson can take one unarmed man who's a freaking brown noser. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. So much is happening. We gotta get back. Actually, right now, I am gonna call it here. <laughs> um, we're gonna leave it on this cliffhanger. We're gonna go, oh, well, Anderson's gonna go, and we're gonna live vicariously through him when he goes to mess with him, with Udina. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And now is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. I wanna say thank you to all of you, but especially to my sapling patron, uh, Scalamunger, who support uh, and I don't, I don't know what I was going to say, whose support I really appreciate, and to Lee Scalito, who is also a Sapling tier patron, and whose support also means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who's a tree tier patron over on Patreon, and uh, who is definitely saying, I already made the Anderson metaphor. I'm trying to come up with like metaphors at the very end, and it's just not, it's not happening. Well, you're definitely not Odina, and you're definitely not the council. You're definitely way cooler than any of those guys. So, uh, congrats. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much again. And thank you to everybody for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.